Sugat Silva, a resident of Varakapala, was admitted to the Varakapala Base Hospital with a cut wound. On the 25th of August, he had been transferred to the National Hospital in Colombo. He had died while the antibiotic co-amoxiclav was being administered to him subsequent to his admission to the National Hospital. Sugat Silva, a father of four, was cremated at the Udamita Public Cemetery in Jaila today. The patient had been administered the antibiotic as a medicine to be given prior to surgery in order to prevent poisoning. The patient had died when the antibiotic was being injected. The post-mortem examination was conducted yesterday. The observation and the conclusions of the JMO is not properly stated. He has said that it seems to be an allergic reaction. But for further investigations, the tissue sample has been sent to the medical laboratory in order to be tested. Once we receive the results, it will be possible to confirm whether it was due to an allergic reaction or not. We hope to send these samples abroad to somehow conduct these tests. Minister Kehli Rambukwella mentioned on Sunday that there were about 21,000 doses of the antibiotic co-amoxiclav and that around 18,000 of those have been used. The minister said that this situation was reported only in relation to one batch of these vaccines within the larger stock. However, the press release issued by the NMRA on the 8th shows that three deaths and severe allergic conditions occurred after the admission of these drugs. The press release states that the same conditions and deaths were reported from the Nikavaratiya Base Hospital, Ragama Teaching Hospital, Karavanella Hospital, Vatubi Develop Hospital and Gampaha District Hospital. Speaking to News First, the NMRA said that they have notified to withdraw three batches of the co-amoxiclav drug from use. The Director of the Medical Supply Division of the Ministry of Health has also stated in a circular issued on the 15th that batches of this drug should be subject to lab tests and quality inspections before being distributed to the hospital system. Last June, the Risk Assessment Committee recommended that the components be tested by a lab that comprises with the standards of the World Health Organization, but the NMRA has not yet received a report in this regard. <laughs> Has the NMRA followed the said process on the 8th of August and obtained such samples? The process decided by the NMRA itself has been stopped. Under whose order was it stopped? If it was stopped, who would be enjoying the results of it? No matter what we say, there is no point if the NMRA does not change and if the decisions taken regarding the NMRA do not change. Why did the NMRA not send this to a WHO laboratory? In the meantime, the manufacturer of the drug in question has issued a statement claiming that it will support any quality inspection conducted by the NMRA. It claims that its products are manufactured in accordance with international standards. The manufacturer points out that according to global data, 2 or 4 in 10,000 may suffer severe complications when administering this type of drug. It adds the same ratio concerning the drug it manufactures is 0.05 in 10,000.